Brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. Well, one of the things that's important in the world of classic tractors is holding on to those family tractors that meant so much throughout the years. And Frank Loveland, uh, you've held on to a tractor that's very special in your family. Your wife's father had a WD-45. Tell us just a little bit about this tractor. Actually, uh, he bought it in 1954, and that was a little bit before we were married, but I was going with Bay at that time. And uh, when they delivered it, I wanted to be there. I wanted to see it. And of course, I was. We were there, like Frank said, we were there when they brought it home that day. So we were all kind of anxious to see it. So this tractor was actually, what, delivered to the family the year before you and Frank got married, huh? Right, yeah. Uh, we've been married 63 years this, this, last, this April. So uh, it's been a long time, but... <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun, I guess. Tractor's going strong and so's the marriage, huh? I think so, yep. <laughs> We're having a good time. We kept it in the family pretty much. After Bay's dad had got sick and passed away, then her brother actually got the tractor. And then another period of time, he got sick and he said he wanted to sell it. So I told Bay, I said, if you want to keep this in the family, I said, you better buy it. So. We decided that we'd buy it and, and I'd fix it up for her. Well, that took a couple of years again, so we got it fixed up and she rode it in a parade and different parades here and there. And we was up in Indiana and Michigan and Florida with it and she rode it in a parade. So it kind of got more set for a while and you know, it's been sitting in the barn for six, seven years now and we decided that together the orange is very important to us. We'll do this one more time because we're getting to the age where might not be able to do it much more, so we decided this would be a perfect place to do it. So we wanted to make sure we was in on this, get in the orange this year. So the tractor was delivered in 1954. That's 64 years ago. You all been married 63 years. Uh, this one just has been around in the family a long, long time. That's got to be pretty special for you and Betty. It sure is. And I have two boys, and both the boys are interested in tractors. One of them's a different brand, but. The youngest one, I guess, is wanting to have this one, so he'll, he'll get it, and then he's got grandchildren, so it'll be probably four or five generations, maybe more, hopefully. Now, you all live in North Carolina now, but uh, where did this tractor spend its working life, and uh, what do you remember your father-in-law doing with it? Actually, uh, we started out in Blissfield, Michigan. That's where we both were born, and uh, he had a farm there just east of town, and he farmed on that, and he actually had a corn picker that mowed with the tractor, mowed on the tractor, I should say, and he, oh, back in them days, he didn't have a way to open up a field, so he went around quite a few different farmers in that area and opened up a field because it was a mounted picker and they could get right in off the road and through the gate and start picking. So, of course, he plowed. This is the original plow that come with the tractor, and uh, we wanted to keep that with the tractor, so I didn't have it fixed up for a while, but I got it pretty ready now, so it, it looks a little better that way. What do you think uh, what made the WD-45 for Alice Chalmers such a popular tractor back in the 1950s? Well, at that time, uh, it was a real popular tractor because of the weight of the tractor and the engine. It would do a lot of work at the bigger tractors are doing today. It's very powerful for the age of the tractor. And it was a good tractor. They never had too much problems with the 45s and else. Tell us a little bit about the engine on the WD-45. It's a four-cylinder gas engine. And we, uh, when we got the tractor, it needed to be overhauled. So we had to put, we put new kit, a whole kit in it. We put new cylinders in it and put new pistons and rings and bearings and everything and went through that. It probably hasn't had maybe 25 or 30 hours on it running since that time. So what were some of the features? Uh, it's got lots of power, but what were some of the features on the WD-45 that made it an easy, good, hard-working tractor? One thing about it, it's got power steering on it and it's a factory power steering and that was a late 54. So they started man, really in 55. and. Uh, it's got the three-point lift, so that's important too, I guess. Powerful tractor, power steering. I'm guessing it's a dream to drive. It's not too bad. It's awkward to get on and off of, but 
Benny don't like to get on off it too well, but we do. It's yeah. not that hard. Yeah. What's your favorite thing about this tractor? Well, orange, I guess. <laughs> and the ease of it and the steering and the riding. It's, it's a fun tractor to drive. So, Frank, one of the innovations they came out with was a, a change in the way they did the rear wheels, I think, right? Right. You can widen the rear wheels real easy by loosening a couple bolts and then backing up or going ahead and the wheels actually spin and makes them go wider and makes them go narrower. So when you mount your corn pickers or whatever on you want for different row width, it, uh, it's a very simple project. All right, Frank and Betty Loveland of North Carolina, they've got that WD-45 that Dad had, and it's a real Alice Chalmers orange peach. <laughs>